and I'm going to figure it out someday. That was a clip from the new movie, I Still Believe, which is in theaters this Friday, March 13th. And joining us now is one of the stars of the film, Britt Robertson. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Congratulations on this film. I mean, a, a very emotional one, mm. that is for sure. Um, tell me a little bit about what it was about this role in particular that drew you to it. Well, there was a lot of things. I mean, the biggest draw originally was um, KJ, who we've done a film together mm -hmm. before, and he reached out to me, and he was like, I think you'd be perfect for this oh, wow. film, and I didn't know anything about it. I, I knew of Jeremy Camp, but I didn't know his story. Mm -hmm. And then once I read the script and then spoke with the filmmakers and sort of learned about Melissa and, and their story and what had happened to her mm -hmm. and just sort of her spirit mm -hmm. and and um, and who she was, it, it seemed like a really beautiful opportunity to bring her story to so many other people as well. And how cool of KJ to not only think of you, but he trusts you, and he's like, I need to work opposite you in this particular mm -hmm. film. Yes. Uh, obviously, you guys did, uh, I think it was a dog's purpose together, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. A, a bit of a 180 in the sense that this is really based yeah. on a true story. How did you approach playing a real person? Um, well, I think it was nice to sort of have as much information early on as possible. So speaking to her family and Jeremy, mm. and then obviously the filmmakers had actually done sort of like a small like documentary on mm -hmm. their life right. and just talking to them. So I, I, I tried to just watch a lot of those videos. But then once we got there, KJ and I just sort of had to uh, trust each other and yeah. kind of leap into into um, the the madness of it all and, and just em embrace the experience. But um, yeah, it was I think a combination of just knowing who this this person was in mm. her spirit and then um, and then sort of trying to bring my mm. own version of, of that character Absolutely. to life. With that being said, was there something that you learned from the families that you kept in the back of your mind throughout filming? Like maybe one thing in particular. Yeah, I think the biggest thing that I always tried to keep in the back of my head um, was just, uh, you know, Melissa was someone who would, you know, even when she was in the hospital and, mm -hmm. and in a lot of pain and uh, she would st she would have flowers all the time. There would just be mm. constant flowers around her, and she would just give them away to people wow. mm. who would come into the room. She would give them to nurses for people's birthdays. She would just constantly be handing out these flowers, and she was just a giving person, and I think that that speaks to who she was um, and her spirit, so I always tried to keep that as sort of... Um, so, something to keep me alive in the moment. Absolutely. You know? Let's talk about this amazing cast. Let's start with KJ. Actually, what was this? What was Cage. it like for you guys to reunite? Cage. And obviously, this is some heavy material. Was it nice to kind of have a buddy on set? You know, to kind of like break a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's that's always what he tells people was like the reason for um, suggesting me <laughs> for the role. He was like, you. I mean, you'd be great for it, but also I just wanted a buddy to like hang friend. out with yeah, in yeah, yeah. Alabama. <laughs> um, and that was it. Was, so he also loves music, and there's like a big music seen there so mm -hmm. we would go out and listen to music when we needed to sort of decompress from the day Love it. Um, so yeah he was a good pal to have around and always then, and then you've got someone like Shania like, Twain what? also no. in there I, I mean again she'd like sing a tune right you know like <laughs> did you not like get it yeah 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 no I did it but I was also incredibly nervous and didn't want to uh, you know bother her I was like Shania please Miss Twain Miss Twain right, you right, know right, like, right, right, right. have a seat would you like some water <laughs> <laughs> you doing good Shania yeah Everyone's yeah good? yeah, yeah. Exactly. and here's Sydney I mean, what was Super it like to work sweet. with the mm -hmm. Hollywood heavyweight? It's very, I mean, Gary is wonderful. I had the honor of watching his scene with KJ, one of the best scenes mm -hmm. in the movie where he's sort of like uplifting him and, and teaching him about disappointment. And I was just supposed to be there for like a second and I ended up staying there for three hours just like oh, wow. watching the scene because. Like a master class. Exactly. Yeah. And he, it was, he's so phenomenal in the movie. Both of them, everybody is. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a really beautiful film. I feel like you have been so blessed in your career, especially, uh, I will say, like what, what crystals or what positivity <laughs> yeah. are you putting out there in the universe because you get the best looking co-stars so in true. the business. George Clooney, Scott <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't know what it is. I feel like <laughs> I've, I must be rubbing some like special crystals that are just bringing <laughs> those. Real. Like, I think you're right about that. I or love it. I just have really good luck on my yeah. side. <laughs> Count the blessings. Well, speaking yeah. of blessings and luck, you're about to be in Little Fires Everywhere with Reese Witherspoon. I mean, <laughs> what, I know, right? What do you well, want? Well, I'm only in it for like two seconds because my friend was the showrunner. She was like, come on, do a part. And I was like, oh! 
Okay. Yes. Still, still you're little... still a part of it. Like Brett Robertson good. Easter egg. Like, I literally, uh, yeah, I literally like holding a baby for like two seconds, <laughs> but it's sweet. She like brought everybody out from the mm -hmm. yeah. show that we did together, the show Life Unexpected, like ten oh, years ago, awesome. and so she brought a lot of the cast out to like do bit parts. Oh, really? um, so that's what made you say yes. You're yes, like, oh, okay. of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna go see the premiere tomorrow, and I'm Amazing. I'm okay. very excited to see the show. You are booked and busy, and then next month you're also celebrating your 30th birthday. I mean, this year is like I feel like it's so great for you. I'm very excited about the 30th. How are you celebrating? I am doing some crazy stuff. Yes, I'm okay. like, yeah, 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 yeah. Skydiving? Like, what's crazy? I'm doing, I have a whole day planned, but mostly the thing I look forward to most is just like dancing my face off. There you go. Because I love Music, to dance. Music, absolutely. And yeah. friends, right? That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. A little birthday cake in there. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it takes. Maybe Shania, like, oh. maybe Shania can come play with girl. For you guys. I know, she was really complimentary this last weekend. I was like, is now the time? Now <laughs> like, the time! Get out the, the phone! The performance? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Brett Robertson, thank you so much. You guys thank can you catch. So I still Thank believe you. when it hits theaters this Friday, March 13th.